Hi everybody! Guys, it's important for us that you leave a like under each of our videos. This helps our project to live on and this is actually the best way you can reward us for our work. Write the name of your favorite football player in the comments down below. Let's see whose fans we have the most. With that out of the way, let's get straight to the news and let's get the show on the pitch. Barcelona have broken Atletico Madrid's 25 match and beaten streak at home in La Liga. Fiorentina CEO Joe Barron has undergone heart surgery. His condition is critical but stable, and he is currently receiving the most advanced treatment in cardiac function and support. The first 30 minutes was the best of our whole season. We were acting as a team, but then we got gaps between the lines, and you can't allow this against one of the best teams in Europe. They outplayed us. Then we made changes, we took risks, and the players were wonderful. The team showed resilience and determination to win this game. Ten Hag set for ITV. Mbappe has reached 8th place on the list of the French league's all-time goal scorers. Kylian has already slotted 188 accurate shots. Osasuna fans chanted Vinicius die. The referee did not mention this fact in his arbitration report. Cole Palmer has scored and assisted in six appearances for Chelsea in all competitions, the best record among Premier League players this season. Tensions flared on the Sevilla bench as Chaker and Nasseri confronted coach Kike Sanchez Flores after being substituted in the match against Celta de Vigo. Liverpool last won an FA Cup match at Old Trafford in 1921. Chelsea will face Man City in the FA Cup semi-finals, while Manchester United will take on Coventry City. I do not dare tell a journalist how to do his job, so don't tell me how to do mine," Massimiliano Allegri noted. Olivier Giroud might pursue a career in the MLS, which is a priority option for the striker. New York and Los Angeles are among contenders for the player. Ajax have conceded 71 goals in all competitions, equaling the unwanted record they set back in the 1958-59 campaign. Bayer Leverkusen have now won 22 league games in a single season for the first time in the club's history. Mohamed Salah is the first player in football history to score in five consecutive away games against Manchester United. Scott McTominay has scored 9 goals this season. Rasmus Hoyland is the only Manchester United player to have scored more, 13. For me, Kane is the best finisher in the world, Eric Dyer thinks. AC Milan have officially scored 5,000 Serie A goals thanks to Christian Pulisic's strike against Elas Verona. Tyson Fury was present at the FA Cup quarterfinal tie between Liverpool and Manchester United. The star boxer is a supporter of the Red Devils. Arsenal will win the Champions League, will beat Bayern, beat City in the semis, then beat Barca in the finals. Easy, states journalist Piers Morgan. Joao Cancelo has a personal problem and not an injury. The team dedicated the victory to him. Bologna, Atalanta and Genoa are considering the possibility of signing Juventus midfielder Fabio Miretti this summer. Filippo Inzaghi is close to returning to Salernitana after being sacked from the club on February 11th. Harry Kane will join up with the England squad despite sustaining an ankle problem. He will be treated by the team doctors there. Fiorentina are looking to hire Genoa head coach Alberto Gilardino. The manager is among the candidates to be in charge of the team next season. The Barcelona court has extended the investigation into the Negreira case for six months. Nico Kovac has been sacked as the head coach of VFL Wolfsburg. I'm convinced that Mason Mount will be a key player. I'm sure that when he is fit and he will play and get into that rhythm, then he will contribute to a successful Man United. I'm sure. Eric Ten Hag is short. Casemiro will miss Brazil's matches against England and Italy due to injury. River Plate are planning to pen a new contract with one of the club's prodigies, Franco Mastantuono. The deal is already underway. Victor Goiquetes makes it 36 goals and 14 assists in all competitions after yesterday's hat trick. It means 50 goals and assists for the sporting striker. Mark Cucurella has been called up by the Spanish national team to replace Gaia. Crazy scenes in Turkey between Trabzonspor fans entering the pitch and storming the Fenerbahce players. 
I was last season at Sunderland and my dream was to play for Man United. So, I'm here to dream every moment, claimed Amadiolo after the match against Liverpool. We will get Lautaro Martinez a new deal done by the end of the season for sure, believes Inter CEO Marotta. This season has not been at the level we want, but we want to improve. We want to win the FA Cup, Bruno Fernandes said. Folks, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now is the right time to do so. Pause this video and give us a subscribe. Thank you. And now let's have a look at the results of yesterday's fixtures. Now here's a brief recap of yesterday's games. Starting off with the FA Cup, where Chelsea and Manchester United made it through to the semi-finals. The Blues managed to outplay Leicester in the second half stoppage time thanks to goals from Chukwameka and Madueke. And the Red Devils snatched victory in a thrilling clash against Liverpool in the 121st minute. With Diallo landing the decisive shot, ending the match with a blockbuster 4-3 score. Next up, we have La Liga, where Barcelona once again shocked their fans by thrashing Atletico Madrid in an away battle. Lewandowski scored a goal and delivered two assists, one to Felix and the other to Fermin. 0-3. Barca moves into second place. Meanwhile, in the Bundesliga, Borussia slammed Eintracht 3-1 despite a goal from former Dortmund player Mario Götze. And in the main event of the day, Bayer reaffirmed their championship intentions by withstanding Freiburg 2-3, with Patrick Schick bringing his side three points with a strike. Then we have Serie A, where we are to highlight a couple of events. Juventus lost points in the second match in a row, failing to outclass Genoa in a goalless draw 0-0. AC Milan used this opportunity taking the second place after besting Verona 1-3. In the local main event of the day, Inter and Napoli have decided to share points. The guests responded to Darmian's goal with an accurate header from Jesus. Last but not least, Liga 1, where PSG mocked Montpellier 2-6 with Kylian Mbappe's hat-trick. Alright, moving on to the main news of the release. Portuguese agent Jorge Mendes will have a meeting with Manchester City management soon in order to discuss the future of João Cancelo, according to Mundo Deportivo. The 29-year-old player has no intention to leave Barcelona, despite the fact that he plays for the club on loan and has an existing contract with the citizens until 2027. The Catalans expect Man City to facilitate Cancelo's departure for an affordable price that will not exceed 20 million, given the defender's age and his desire to represent Barcelona only. Either that, or they could extend the loan period. This is the message Mendes will deliver to the English club during his trip to Manchester. Lille centre-back Lenny Yoro has informed the club's management of his desire to join Real Madrid. Marca informs. The French side is willing to let the 18-year-old go for 100 million euros. Though Yoro is convinced that Lille will eventually give in, just as they did in the case of Camavinga and Rennes. The club from Madrid plans to pay about 30 to 40 million euros for the Frenchman's services. Earlier on, Chelsea were also reported to be interested in Lenny. Bayern Munich are keen to secure a new deal for winger Jamal Musiala amid interest from Manchester City and Liverpool. The 21-year-old has a deal with the German champions until 2026. However, the report indicates that the Bavarian outfit are desperate to extend this deal to ensure they fend off interest from elsewhere. Liverpool could be set to part ways with Mohamed Salah this summer, with the Egypt international attracting the attention of clubs in Saudi Arabia, which could leave the Reds needing to find a replacement for the 31-year-old. Meanwhile, Manchester City could also be only one of a select few Premier League clubs who could afford to tempt Bayern into parting ways with Musiala. With two years still left to run on his deal, Bayern will likely demand a hefty fee for the Chelsea youth product. Real Madrid will be presenting Kylian Mbappe at the beginning of June, between June 3rd and 7th to be exact. But on the day after the presentation, Mbappe will join the French national team camp. The Frenchman wants to compete in Euros as a Madrid player, journalist Ramon Alvarez notes. Mbappe will have the same salary at Real Madrid as Jude Bellingham and Vinicius Jr., that is 13.5 million euros. Real Madrid are delighted with the figures of the deal. The already conducted contract between Real Madrid and striker Kylian Mbappe stipulates that the Frenchman will retain 90% of the image rights. 
The club already has other footballers with over 50% of rights secured. Therefore, Mbappe's case is not unique. Friends, be sure to check out the suggested videos from our other projects as well.